Hello, and welcome to Quick Charge by Electrek. Keeping you in the fast track with daily Tesla and electric vehicle news. I'm Mikey G, and it's Tuesday, February 15th. Elon Musk might actually be following through with a substantial donation to combat world hunger. Last year, Musk took to Twitter to say that he would sell 10% of his stake in Tesla if a Twitter poll thought it a good idea to do so for world hunger. The CEO framed the situation as an idea that came from pressure from the media and politicians about the rich not paying taxes on unrealized gains. However, he wasn't quite as vocal about the fact that he was facing a giant tax bill and needed to sell stocks to cover what was due. And as a matter of fact, he sold a fair portion of his shares two months prior to the Twitter poll even being made. Musk furthered himself in the world hunger limelight when he entertained a challenge from the United Nations World Food Program that selling a portion of his wealth would solve the issue. And now a few months later, Tesla has released a new SEC filing revealing that Musk did donate over 5 million shares worth of close to $6 billion at the end of November. The filing doesn't reveal the recipient of the money, but the food program very well could be suspect due to the amount and also the timing. General Motors is extending its Chevy Bolt EV production halt to April, as battery availability remains scarce. After a tough year of fires, software updates, and recalls, General Motors finally caved and announced that it will be replacing battery modules in all 2017-22 Bolt EVs. With the supply of batteries being prioritized for recalls, General Motors apparently doesn't have enough to begin production again, at least for the moment. General Motors announced that it is expecting to resume the EV production at the Orion factory in early April. It doesn't mean the replacements are going to be done by then, but the automaker feels confident, as they call it, that it's going to be able to balance the battery supply at that time. The Bolt EV may not fit well into GM's upcoming EV plans, as the vehicle may take away supply and manufacturing capability from the myriad of new cars coming in the next five years. Fisker has begun taking reservations for its second model, the Pair. It is a compact five-passenger vehicle they're calling an urban EV. With the opening of reservations, Fisker is also claiming that the Pair will start at an MSRP below $30,000 in the U.S. before any incentives. That's a price point that few other automakers have been able to deliver. Although Fisker is working with Magna International to provide manufacturing for their Ocean SUV, which is coming out soon, they previously announced that a small urban EV would be made with the help of the manufacturing company Foxconn. There isn't much known about the vehicle as of yet, other than what Fisker has shared today. They did mention that it would focus on industry firsts, but we're not sure what that means. The current production plan is to produce the pair in Ohio, with the anticipated output of 250,000 units per year. Compact EV manufacturer Electrica Mechanica has announced a new partnership with autonomous technology startup Fraction Technology Incorporated. Through the partnership, Electromechanica will provide its solo EVs to a pilot program that will test Faction's self-driving platform as it relates to autonomous food delivery and vehicles on demand. Three of the vehicles will be used for the testing in the program, and Faction Technology will build their AI platform around it. The pilot program will continue the Faction autonomous technology in both driverless and remotely operated situations whether it be for food delivery or passenger rides on demand. A new study published in the peer-reviewed journal Nature has confirmed that hydrogen fuel cell vehicles aren't likely to catch up to battery electric vehicles, even for commercial trucks. Titled, Hydrogen Technology is Unlikely to Play a Major Role in Sustainable Road Transport, the study says in part, quote, technical and economic developments in battery and fast charging technologies could soon make fuel cell electric vehicles, which run on hydrogen, superfluous in road transport. The study goes on to point to even commercial trucks not being a likely candidate to give fuel cell powertrains a chance in the long term. They cite that the late start date of fuel cell vehicle manufacturing would coincide with the next generation of battery-operated vehicles. The study notes that the new megawatt chargers standard for battery electric trucks and advancements in technology for the next generation would likely leave to fuel cell hydrogens being left far behind. In today's community comment, Martin Wood says, quote, Time to update your picture of Shanghai Gigafactory. Yeah, that picture that I used yesterday was a little long in the tooth, but consider this picture. This was actually taken within one week on February 11th. The factory is still undergoing construction and growth. 
I'm not really sure how this guy gets away with it in China, but I'll link a description in the channel where he flies a drone over the site quite regularly. Thanks for watching Quick Charge by Electrek. We also have an audio version on your favorite podcast player. I'm Mikey G, and I hope you have a great day.